Once upon a time in a small village nestled deep within the mountains of Japan, there lived a young man named Kaido. Kaido was known far and wide for his extraordinary confidence. People marveled at his ability to face any challenge with unwavering self-assurance. They often sought his counsel on how to be as confident as he was. One sunny morning, a curious traveler named Hiroshi arrived in the village, having heard tales of Kaido's legendary confidence. Hiroshi was a timid soul, plagued by self-doubt and anxiety. He believed that if he could learn the secret of Kaido's confidence, he could transform his life. Hiroshi approached Kaido, who was sitting under a blossoming cherry tree, and said, I've heard of your remarkable confidence, Kaido. Please, share with me the secret of your unwavering self-assurance. Kaido smiled warmly and gestured for Hiroshi to sit beside him. He then began to weave a tale that would change Hiroshi's life forever. Once, long ago, Kaido began, I was just like you, Hiroshi. Timid, anxious, and afraid of the world. I constantly compared myself to others and felt I would never measure up. My lack of confidence was a heavy burden I carried everywhere. Hiroshi listened intently, eager to discover the secret. One day, Kaido continued, I met a wise old monk named Zenji. He lived high in the mountains, far from the bustling world below. I went to him seeking answers, much like you're doing now. Hiroshi leaned in, captivated by the story. Zenji told me that confidence is not something you find outside yourself, Kaido explained. It's something that lies within, waiting to be discovered. He handed me a small, smooth pebble and asked me to look at it closely. Kaido reached into his pocket and produced a similar pebble, handing it to Hiroshi. Hiroshi examined it, noting its simplicity. Zenji told me that the pebble represented my inner self, Kaido continued. He asked me to think about all the things that made me doubt myself, all the negative thoughts and judgments that weighed me down. I imagined each one as a heavy stone placed on top of the pebble. Hiroshi closed his eyes and envisioned his own inner pebble, weighed down by self-doubt and fear. Kaido went on, then, Zenji asked me to let go of those stones, one by one, and watch as they rolled away. As I did, I felt lighter and freer. My inner pebble, my true self, started to shine brightly. Hiroshi opened his eyes, a glimmer of hope in his heart. Confidence, Kaido continued, is the result of letting go of the heavy stones of self-doubt and fear that we carry within us. It's about embracing your true self, recognizing your worth, and trusting in your abilities. Hiroshi nodded, beginning to understand. Kaido concluded, so, Hiroshi, the secret to extreme confidence is not in seeking it from others or in external validation. It's in shedding the burdens of self-doubt and fear that you carry within. Embrace your inner pebble, and let it shine. Believe in yourself, and you will become a beacon of confidence that inspires others. Hiroshi thanked Kaido for the profound wisdom and left the village with a newfound determination to change his life. Over time, he practiced the art of letting go, releasing the heavy stones that had held him back for so long. As he did, his inner pebble began to shine brightly, just as Kaido had described. Hiroshi's transformation was remarkable. He returned to the village a year later, radiating confidence. People marveled at his newfound self-assurance and sought his advice. Hiroshi shared Kaido's wisdom with them, teaching them to embrace their inner pebbles and let go of the burdens they carried. In the end, the village became a haven of confidence, thanks to Kaido and Hiroshi. And as for Kaido, he continued to sit under the cherry tree, sharing his timeless wisdom with those who sought it, knowing that true confidence was a gift that could change lives.